Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Turan where we are beating the game on the highest difficulty with only two and two soldiers only. Sounds like an interesting adventure, doesn't it? Alright, so we are at the end of month number eight and as part of that uh, it is just right about uh, the end of month number eight. In West Africa, we have Operation Crypt Strike. The game knows we have too little supplies, so it's trying to help us. And it also, quote unquote, suggests we should expand further. That's why it's throwing all the intel at us. Uh, by looking at the available uh, soldiers, I found out uh, that Zirkim and Renman can upgrade their bonds, so I immediately went for it, which leaves really only Outrider and Magister open. I don't think that this uh, combination here has a lot of synergy potential, but on the other hand, I feel... Eh, might as well give it a try. Uh, I know that Magister is pretty self-sufficient, so he doesn't really need a lot of uh, help. And Dragonova just stays on the effing shadows all the time by herself, so that should be okay. It's uh, kind of an each-to-their-own strategy type of um, combination, the two of them. Not as good as the one with... Uh, with uh, the Specialist. I still think that uh, Specialist plus Templar is an extremely powerful combination for a two-man run. Right. Couple of War of the Chosen only classes. Noticed I've never played with only those two in the mission. And we're being stealthed. Okay, good. Even better. Moving as ordered. Okay, so far so good. The idea is really to not trigger anything, bypass most of the stuff. And then either free and or kill the dark VIP who is in here. And we need to bring that person to here which means we only need to make it just that far. Really can't be that much of a problem. The map layout is very beneficial for us. Covering ground. Their clumsy patrol is moving. Well, sounds pretty easy so far. Couple of patrols. As you order, Commander. And it really seems we have a lot of time left over, like 12 uh, rounds. I can cover it. Okay, as long as the patrol doesn't like literally walk into us, we should be fine. Lucky us, look at that. We just made it out of uh, the perception zone. Yes, Commander. There's an alien patrol here. Watch my back. Okay, 
good enough or easy enough, I should rather say. To victory. We are not being spotted out. These guys here are like moving from left to right, le uh, right to left. That's okay. We can leave them behind. There is another specter up here. And you know, I mean, it's really moving through that door, running all the way back here and uh, getting out. So it, it really doesn't seem to be so much defense in here. Yeah, the guy is alone, okay. All right. This pack here looks nasty. I will reposition. Okay, so This is pretty much where we decide whether or not we want to give it an honest shot or really just kill the dark VIP. I'm not yet sold on either uh, on either of the options. Okay, that's another bullshit. Uh, two of them move in one direction and the Codex, of course, moves in the other. <laughs> big bullshit idea, uh, or big bullshit here. Okay, so a question that I'm asking myself is what's the right reaction here? This guy here is in cover. We could put ourselves up here just so that we are far enough away, but that would mean we wouldn't be able to see the specter there. This here is a flanking position, but a dangerous one if those guys move or were even being spotted out. But then again, why would they? We're using Sting. That's a hundred percent shot. You know what? Let's just use that shot here. Um, I guess a free kill on this Codex would be very helpful. We got two chances for it. I 
I don't want to go upstairs because uh, that could trigger uh, the other pack. This here should be fine, we should not trigger anyone. Okay, we got a we're at two focus, I'll just parry. Psybomb will happen, that will not affect us, and because we have no ammunition. We'll still use the Psybomb. Yeah. Okay, like I said, wouldn't won't affect us. And I think the other one, the Spectre, will just try to move in. Well, not even that. Okay. We are taking action. I'll leave this, here. this here should kill the soldier because uh, 8 damage plus falling damage. The Archon still will rest in air. No, it uh, came down. That's even better. The cool part about um, having quick draw is you effectively have this act extra action every single turn. And even if it's just three damage, it's actually not too bad. Nice, nice, nice. Focus maximized, and we are going to parry. So this here I am at your service. should be a kill for the Codex. Would you rather die here? Ooh, look at you. The one problem that I have is I really don't want to trigger anything from up there. No, we don't want to remote start. Really solid damage. This here kills two of them. Ah, almost. We don't need to. Well, we could try to parry, I suppose. But we don't need to stand here because Bladestorm will not hurt this guy. The guy has. Lightning reflexes, so might as well move in in order to not trigger the other pack. Oh, wait a second. Of course. We still have plan B. Good old blood trail. That will trigger reinforcements. Status confirmed. Target package in custody. I'm on the move.
There are the reinforcements I was talking about. Menace one five, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. I'll lead the way. Dragonova moves up, and I think we're almost done. Reinforcements will come in, and we should be fine. If I would have wanted to fight them, I would have probably positioned myself in the middle of the reinforcements, triggering three Bladestorm attacks for 10 damage each. And that would have even allowed us to kill those three here. I figured that they might drop a mech and the reason or the plan B that I had was we already have Dragon over here at the landing platform. Effectively just waiting to take away his overwatch. Nice little shot. Get out of here and Magister takes a run for the hills. The team worked quite well together, I suppose, because the Templar is just focused on getting uh, the attention of everyone. And he's like constantly, quote unquote, tanking everyone. Um, and the Reaper is the exact opposite, which is pretty much the leave me alone. I want to assassinate and stay out of the combat class. So yeah, no wonder they like uh, supplement one another quite well. But I still wouldn't do it in a two-man run, specifically not on longer missions, because the Reaper is very position dependent. And if you can't really use a lot of um, remote starts, then the damage drops quite a bit. Two hundred forty-one supplies and a hundred intel. Commander, impressive work. I'm not sure why we're only at hundred and forty-two intel. We should be higher. Hmm. Maybe I missed some. Well, no. We made contact here, so I pretty much forgot that we that we made contact. Anyway, so. We do have access to one facility, right? Right here. Commander, now that we've established and there's even a powerful alien guarding it, so we will attempt this here with uh, Dragonova plus a sniper to hopefully assassinate the alien out of line of sight. Uh, so yeah, that, that's doable. And with another facility lead, we are hopefully getting yet another facility so that we can do it once again. Problem with the alien rulers is once you have activated them, they will actually appear in the missions. And that's a problem. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander, and you have outdone yourself. Good. For the first time, he was happy. This here is a bad uh, sign for us. Soul Stealer is really strong. Specifically since she can summon some enemies. Next retaliation strike happens very soon. And we got nothing new, so might as well ignore it. 142 supplies which means we can finally build resistance communications I suppose 
and I would want to uh, build a, a defense matrix afterwards. So. That's okay. I like it. I guess we need to research the towers as well. Do we have towers? Stun lances, freeze troopers. No. Hmm. Too bad. Because defense matrix isn't really uh, is something that I really want to have next. Besides, let's turn the volume just a little bit down. I I realized, guys, the volume is all the way cranked up. Yep, much better. Okay. So we got supplies, we got a facility lead. I, I like the idea that we actually got supplies. Wait a second here. Because that means we can build a couple of weapons. Like the idea with a storm gun. Like the idea with a pistol. I very much like the idea with the plasma rifle. Gosh, costs so much alarium. How long until the armor upgrade? Okay, that's another 18 days. Might as well what can I do for you, Commander? upgrade the weapons now. That was a tough purchase. <laughs> wow. We are broke. Facility lead first, then supplies. All right. Edgar Allan Poe just got all of his negative traits removed and I think we need to continue doing that with the others as well. So, since the Templar is tired, we might as well put Roby into training. Uh, and by training, I mean we're putting Roby into negative trait removal. Should take him about 10 days. He has two negative traits. Oh my gosh. Two, they add up. Okay, whatever. Roby now needs to spend 20 days to remove his negative traits. Well, it sucks, but I'm I, I'm still convinced it's worth it because I don't want to have these negative traits. Like, fear of panic and fear of the Chosen just stinks. So does fear of stun lances. I guess what annoys me a bit is it'll take 20 days and we actually need to train Roby. It's one thing if Zirkim does it, because he's already max rank. Hmm. Edgar Alien Poe is now clean. He doesn't have any of the fears. And I think Dragonova also doesn't have any. No, it seems to be fine. No, she doesn't have any, so the two of them are good. Might as well start letting it run down and we can always interrupt it. Okay, we got a facility lead. That's not the worst. Very soon we're going to be done with Sabotage, so Avatar progress will be done even, uh, will go down even further. Our soldiers took some hits during the most recent covert action. 
The word from the medical team is they'll all be fine. So here's the thing, we can't reduce the, the number of bleeps further because um, there are so many facilities. This here is good, I like it. Let's see. No, we don't need that. That's okay, but really not that good either. Hmm, health is fine. Aim plus two is not really helpful either. You can get up to aim plus four. And nine days for aim plus two is not really good. So I suppose the best that we could get this turn is health plus one. Hmm. I'm just thinking out loud. I'm really not so impressed with what the rewards have to offer this month. I suppose reduce avatar progress is good. But I'm not sure we just, the last time we did it, we only lost one bleep. And that's a problem because we're still at four, which is coincidentally enough the number of alien facilities. No, actually five. So maybe I'm wrong. We could do that. Plus one health is okay. That here is also fine. I mean, 15 ability points is nothing to sneeze at either. I was hoping uh, to maybe increase, uh, to have a promotion or increase the bond uh, rating, but none of that is available. Hmm. Let's invest the 10 days. We can't put the Templar on this mission, that's that's a bummer. One more day until the end of bond training. Let's wait that one day until the bond training is done. And then we put either Zirkim or Renvin on the mission. on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Any who is aiding the defiance of the Elders will suffer the same fate, Commander. Heading course for South Africa. Okay, whatever. It's time for another retaliation mission, I suppose. Um, I will figure out with whom we're going to go uh, into it. The bond training here is almost uh, done. So yeah, probably it's going to be Outrider plus Edgar Alien Poe. Yeah, probably it's that. I am not convinced uh, that these missions are winnable. It's just, it's such a pity. Because the main problem is we're probably again going to be overrun by berserks of some kind. So I really would want to have uh, Magister there to clean house, but he's not available for three days. And yeah, you, I, you can't change that. Anyways, I'll find out. Commander, the are uh, by the way, we are definitely the reducing the avatar progress. Anyways, what I wanted to say is we are going to see each other in the next mission where I'm going to tackle the um, uh, the retaliation mission, which is probably going to be with uh, Outrider and Edgar Alien Poe. Until then, thank you so much for watching. It was a pleasure today and see you all in a couple of days in the next episode. Don't forget to uh, hit the like button or leave a comment down below. Thank you and bye-bye.